What is up, guys? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thanks so much for being here, for being subscribed. If you're not, go ahead and hit that button. And if you're listening on YouTube, hit that like button. It's like walking in the room and hitting that light switch. Let's brighten up the place and get into this podversation. Um, listen, first, I just want to preface this by saying I commend all the people that are doing all the investigative reporting on this Diddy situation as the chips continue to fall wherever they may and you never really know where he's going next i did a conversation maybe a couple of weeks ago where i was just wondering if he was going to eventually leave the states and go and reside in another country more specifically like the place where russell simmons has been since the allegations started going on surrounding him and a possible you know as the actual assault and nothing to the extent of what Diddy has been alleged to have done and has been doing but yet and still I believe Russell Simmons in, is residing in a country more specifically Bali where I don't believe they have or they acknowledge United States extradition laws meaning you go to another country and if they have a warrant for your arrest they're not going to even they they're not going to pay it any attention they're going to actually just pay it dust <laughs> because they don't you know they just don't follow those guidelines they could care less we'll just put it like that but listen guys i wanted to talk about this because it's so funny sometimes the things that shows up in my feed and on yesterday this video showed up in my feed that i I mean, I definitely wasn't looking for it, never would have thought about, but it was a warning for T.D. Jakes in the form of a prophecy by a woman who I believe to be a woman of God. She doesn't have a whole lot of followers on YouTube. She didn't have her comment section open because she probably knew that saying anything that isn't perceived as praise of T.D. Jakes would get her a lot of flack and vitriol because... For those of you who are newer to my channel, and first of all, thank you all for being here again. Um, but I've been doing this channel since 2020 as a hobby here and there. Not really consistent all the time, but when, you know, I have a little bit of free time and I just want to talk about a story I see or whatever, I've done that. But I remember I did a video and it was not some expose video or whatever. It was just literally a video just talking about a news story that I saw about T.D. Jake's daughter, Sarah Jake's, who has a ton of followers and how she and her husband had purchased a new home in in California. I don't remember exactly where. It actually may be in Montecito where um, Megan and Harry live, but it may not be. I just can't even really remember. Because one, it's not that relevant to me. It's not. It's not even relevant to me. I really don't care. But I'm saying all of that to say I... <laughs> Just did this video just reporting on it. And you couldn't imagine the comments that I was getting. People were like low-key attacking me because I talked about the story. I wasn't talking about her in a negative way. I didn't say anything about her and her husband and saying shame on them for living a high life or whatever. I mean, it is what it is. And if I can um, go back and find the video link, I'll put it in the description box if you want to check it out. Not that it even really matters to this story, but I'm just basically saying that when you say anything about a lot of people's faves, especially in the church world, you can't imagine how people will attack you. And it's like, how godly, <laughs> how godly of you, right? But anyway, I'm going to put a link to this woman's prophecy in the description box, but I, I want to play a little clip of it because the the video this woman did it actually didn't have anything to do with Puffy. But I'm thinking about things in a different way because when it comes to these, these revelations, we should say, that's been coming out about Puffy and seeing how close T.D. Jakes is to Puffy and he was actually at his most recent birthday party he celebrated, I believe his 53rd birthday, and had a party it was just like 
to me, even when I saw that at that time, I said, why is he there? Didn't ask a whole lot of questions, didn't dig into any details, didn't do a backup of um, research and looking for more information to see what really is going down or whatever. But people, I believe, rightfully do have questions about T.D. Jakes and his connection to Diddy. And to see that he was at his birthday party singing happy birthday to this, in my opinion, demonic devilish, even if these things didn't come out about him and Cassie, just the way we've seen him living his life overall. And you supposedly, I'm saying supposedly, being this upstanding man of God, this is the type of person that you call a friend. Birds of a feather flock together. God said to tell T.D. Jakes to get his affairs in order. For I, the one true living God, have risen up against him. I am against him, says the Lord God of Israel. He has dishonored me and he has disgraced my kingdom in my words, says the Lord God. I shall use you to speak his final judgment. The one known to the world as T.D. Jakes, but I know you as a different name. I speak against thee, your final judgment and my final decision, says the Lord. Get your affairs in order. I have rejected thee along with your descendants. I rejected Korah, for she is not of me. I rejected Sarita, for she is not with me. I rejected Sarah, for she married Tori out of my will. I shall speak, and thou shall speak, says the Lord. I'm going to pause it right there. And some of you, you may listen to that and say, what in the world is going on? I'm going to put a link to the full video, which isn't long, in the description box if you want to go and check it out. But like I said, I'm not familiar with this woman. Her name is Evangelist Keisha, Keishanda Boyd. And... I've I never heard of her before, That's but I'm just like, wow, because I have been I, I'm not even going to lie to you. I was thinking about T.D. Jakes for a hot minute now. I don't follow him. I, you know, yeah, over the years, every now and then there may have been like a little snippet of one of his sermons where it was just like encouraging to me or it made sense or whatever, but I never been a follower of his. And when that story came out over a year ago about the chick who had the baby and said how T.D. Jake's daughter, Cora, manipulated her. And I did a video about that where I felt like based on what she shared, because I even talked about the interview that Tasha K did with the young lady, how Cora used spiritual manipulation to get that girl to give her her child because Cora was not able to have children. And it's just something about that entire family. They're weird. People can be weird and not evil, but it's just a lot when it comes to that that I'm just not down with. And no, T.D. Jakes may not have taken a baby, but I believe that because of the power that he has, And how powerful he is and the people that he is connected to, it allowed his daughter to able to to be able to do something like that. And some of you may say, well, what does this have to do with Diddy? Well, the reason why I'm talking about this is because learning that this man has such close ties to Puffy and 
he being supposedly a man of God and being in a, of a certain position and whatever, and you are wrapped up, tied up and tangled up with people with the likes of Diddy. I don't have any respect or any type of admiration and would not follow a single word that he teaches, preaches, or even prophesied if he did. And I I often think about people like him that are in the church world that have so many followers that have also a whole lot of good things to say about them. I don't really feel like those people are as closely connected to God as they either portray themselves to be or people portray them to be or the, you know, or, you know, the combination of, I should say, because when I think of Jesus, he died at such an early age. And the Bible says that wide is the road that leads to destruction, straight and narrow is the path that leads to life. And you find few there and you find many more on that wide road. So I feel like when people have a lot of followers like he does, they're not really teaching and preaching the way and what I believe they are supposed to be teaching and preaching. And it's more feel good stuff that's going to make people feel good. Like the Bible talks about itching ears, things that make people feel good, that makes people tingle and have the, you know, just, oh, this is beneficial for me. When a lot of times what you really need to hear, it isn't what makes you feel good. It is going to be beneficial for you in the long run. But a lot of people, they seek the short term, feel good stuff. Even if you live to be 95 years old, the life that we have is so much shorter than what we will have after we're no longer here, in my personal opinion, because eternity is forever. And I just wanted to say that because to know that all of these things have come out about Diddy and we haven't heard him really say anything, I feel that's extremely troubling. And no, of course, T.D. Jakes wasn't named in the lawsuits or anything like that. But if you're supposed to be this this spiritual person who sees and, you know, you feel like you have insight with, you know, with God and on the spiritual realm, he, I feel, should be saying something because there is clips of Diddy actually coming to his church and him acknowledging Diddy from the pulpit and people in the church standing up and giving Sean Combs a standing ovation. Why? Because of money. And so when I heard that video that I listened to that played a little snippet of, of this woman giving this prophecy, pretty much a warning to T.D. Jakes from from God himself through this vessel of this woman, people can choose to believe it or not. I actually got chills listening to it. And I some I, I, I feel that she was being legit, you know, with it. And not just speaking curses on him or damnation or whatever, but basically saying, get your house in order, get your things together, get your business and your everything that you need to do um, together because judgment is here for you. And I feel like judgment is here for a lot of people because this really has been a year of revelation and a lot of people and things being uncovered. It really is a lot, but why was T.D. Jakes so close? And I would probably venture to say is so close to Puffy. Why was he at Puffy's party? And I, I just, I just don't get it. And I, I, I believe that there's a lot that we just don't know. We can make the assumptions. We can say, well, I think this, or I even believe that. But I don't think that there's anything good about T.D. Jakes having this close connection and affiliation to Puffy because ultimately it's a money thing for T.D. Jakes. And for this person who was living so devilishly, so demonically, doing such 
disgusting, hideous things that were spelled out pretty much in the complaint that was filed that has since been settled 24 hours after. It's just like, how could him being a man of God be connected to someone like that? And even if you claim you didn't know about those things going on, not coming out and and slamming it. If the people who worked for Diddy at some point in time, his bodyguard, former, I should say, bodyguards, people who worked at Bad Boy Records or whatever can come out now and make these statements and talk about how they could see him doing things like this and also talking about some of the experiences that they have dealt with with him. Why can't he come out and say something? Some of you may say, well, he hasn't had a chance to yet. There's been plenty of time for him to say something, right? And for him to be the leader of that church that he has, that, like I said, had Sean Combs' presence in there and him acknowledging this man from his pulpit and having the people who go to his church stand up and give him a standing ovation, I feel it's disgusting. So this woman, this evangelist, speaking these prophetic words to, not just about, but to T.D. Jakes as a warning, I feel it's legitimate. I do. I believe it. But I just wanted to talk about that briefly, guys. Let me know your thoughts about T.D. Jakes' affiliation to to Puffy, Sean Combs, P. Diddy, Love, whatever his name is. I call him Satan Spawn. But let me know what you think, because it really is deep. And I have been thinking about this for a little minute, because I remember last year was someone's YouTube channel I was watching and they were playing little video clips of behind the scenes from Puffy's party. And when I saw that he was there, I paused for a moment and I was like, is that real? And indeed it was. That was a pass. Now that was a clip from another guy's video, but it was a clip of the good reverend, the pastor, Bishop T D Jake singing happy birthday to Diddy and saying that he loves him. Listen, I'm just, I'm just, I, I I don't even really know what to think, but you guys can let me know what you think. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for being here, for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye. Bye.